vote counting was underway in Chad on Tuesday after a tense election in which dozens of security forces were deployed to the streets of the capital. Soldiers and riot police patrolled alongside at least 30 armoured and other military vehicles in opposition-friendly neighbourhoods of the capital in Jemena, according to Reuters reporters. The streets, normally bustling in the final hours of voting, were quiet. Analysts predict military leader Mohamed Idris Deby will win. He seized power three years ago, after rebels killed his long-ruling father. Security and the economy have been key issues on the campaign trail in what is one of the poorest countries in the world. In Unjamena on Monday, voter Justin Hajim said what the country needs is change. That's why we've come, but unfortunately there aren't enough people. We don't know if people are discouraged because of past events. We don't know, but this time we hope that things will actually change. This is the first presidential election in a group of Sahelian countries to have witnessed military coups in recent years. Those junta-led countries have been at the center of a battle for influence between the West and Russia, in a region suffering rising militant violence. Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger have kicked out the troops of France and other traditional Western allies and turned to Moscow for support. Chad, however, remains close to former colonial power France and is the last Sahel state with a substantial French military presence. Ulf Lessing, head of the Sahel program at the Konrad Adenauer Foundation, has said that Chad is too strategic for the West to allow Russia to get an opening. An election win, he added, would bolster Davies' democratic credentials as an ally. However, some opposition members and civil society groups had called for a boycott, citing concerns about possible vote rigging. Some observers did not get their accreditations before the vote and were not given any reason for the refusal, said the Citizens' Alliance for Elections, which monitors the poll. Provisional results are expected by May 21st.